Hi, welcome to another series. Today we're gonna to talk about a buyer's real consultation and a buyer showing, showing a buyer how to close or win on the property. I have been showing a client for the last six weeks. We talked to them, we met with them. They are a past client, but they're also a first time buyer. Again, since we sold their house, they went to rent, saved some more money, and now we're back on the market to buy. So their specific needs are school, price, and its location, and I'll tell you why. The husband works at LAX, the wife works in Irvine, and the child is in middle school and they want great schools. So between LAX and Irvine, there is a lot of space there and you gotta you know, know the territory, whatnot. One of the great websites family can go to is greatschools.org to look up what specific schools may be best for them, if they wanna go to a private school, public school, and what their ratings are and could be. And then working with someone like me, I'm able to show them areas that they may may not have thought of. For example, they of course would like Irvine because they believe schools are tens and they disregarded other areas that could be great schools as well. So by pointing clients to greatschools.org, they can see, hey, Redondo Beach might be a good area, or your Belinda is a good area, or Anaheim Hills is a good area. And then what I do with the client is I say, okay, you work at LAX and you have to be here at a certain time. Is it daytime, nighttime? What are the traffic patterns? So I actually have a software to put in to say traffic patterns, traffic between this time, that time. So it's not as far as you think, and that way it's a better living for most of my clients. So using that software, using schools and areas that they may not have thought of, and pricing is how we start winning. When it comes to pricing, because the market is so saturated, I want to say, with buyers and limited listings, I, what I like to do is show them properties that others may not like, meaning I tell them if everyone else is jumping on it and if you love it, that means most of the market's going to love it. And so what's been happening is we have listings or actually when we put offers, I have 13, 15, 17, 10 offers that we're up against. And unless you are 50% right now, 40%, 30% all cash, you're likely not going to get it. So what we did is we just showed a property on Friday in Tustin that was very good school district right off Newport Boulevard. I want to say one of the ugliest visually houses on the outside, but look really good on the inside, which was one block away from a park. What you do is you take that ugly house, buy it, you spend a little money on the outside, then you win and have less competition. One block away actually from a nice, beautiful public park down the street. Great location, great condition, and hopefully a great price in the future. I'm sharing this video just to put it out there as to what the market is doing. We're in September 2021 and if there is a shortage of listings and you're a buyer, not only should you be smart about what you're looking for, but work with an agent like me who knows how to win, position you and get you out of the competition game so that you win in purchasing and closing on your dream home or even your goal. It may not be your dream home, but it's a start in the right direction. Timing the market, moving forward, getting in. And as the market moves, you move with the market and you don't lose out. Thanks so much for watching. This is Sergio from the uh, mountains to the sea to all of Southern California representing myself. <laughs> I'll be like Jerry Dunphy from uh, the news. From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest at 11.